Greetings and welcome to another video. It's Sunday the 31st of October 2021 and as I record this it's the early hours of today basically. And in the UK the 31st of October is always Halloween which is to be honest one of my favourite times of the year and I've always had an interest in the paranormal uh, as you can see by watching some of my videos I've already made where I share ghost stories or folklore stories and I hope to make other paranormal related videos in the future but I just gotta like plan them out think about them first try and make sure I do a good job In the meantime, I've got a ghost story for you today from a book I've already mentioned in a couple of previous videos. Some Ghostly Tales of Shropshire by Catherine McCarthy. And this particular story comes from the RAF Museum in Cosford. Cosford's pretty close by to Telford. If you were to catch a train, for example, from Telford Central, then getting to Cosford is a quick and easy journey, about two, maybe three stops at most along the uh, railway. But yeah, um, it's a good place, is Cosford. I really need to visit it properly. But in the meantime, this story I've got for you, it's been really interesting, it's really good. And as I said, it comes from the RAF Museum and specifically comes from the year 1980. In 1980, an article appeared in a national newspaper detailing the strange experiences that had occurred involving a Lincoln bomber in the museum at RAF Cosford. The following questions were asked. Why did an engineer not feel anything when he fell backwards from the wing 15 feet onto the concrete floor? Why was another man not hurt or even marked when he accidentally walked into the sharp edge of a propeller? Why, on a cold day, with icicles hanging from the roof, was the plane's interior warm enough to work in without a jacket on? Why, when other aircraft were covered in dust, did the shell of a black bomber appear to have, appear to have been polished? And why was there a strange whistling of an unidentifiable tune heard in the museum? The Lincoln bomber RF-398, badly in need of repair, was moved into the museum in 1977. Volunteers from the RAF and ex-servicemen worked in their spare time to renovate it. One of them was Mr Small, an ex-RAF engineer. He believed the museum was haunted by the ghost of an airman in battle dress jacket and white polo neck pullover seen both in the museum hangar and on the plane itself. He was about 5 feet 9 inches tall with light brown hair. All the volunteers had been scared the first two or three times they had seen him. The Phantom Airman first appeared in 1979. Mr Small said, once he stood beside me and put his hands on my shoulders. I'd been alone in the plane and had heard the rear door open and footsteps coming along the fuselage and had thought it was one of the lads. I had asked for a tool to be passed to me and it was. When I turned to say thanks, no one was there. We have all had such experiences and everything that happens appears to be for the benefit of the Lincoln. One job of re rewiring through the wings would, would, we thought, would have taken weeks. 
it was done in 48 hours. Every rusty screw, which had not been touched for 30 odd years, came out easily. There are several theories about who the airman could be. Mr Small said, one is that it could be a Spitfire pilot, killed when his plane crashed. It was refurbished and put in the hangar, but it has since been moved and still the happenings go on. A bomber crashed near here in the late 1940s, killing all the crew. The engineer felt responsible and took his own life. Part of that plane was put in here some time ago. We are trying to investigate all avenues. Photographs have been taken of the Lincoln during various stages of rebuilding. On a number of negatives, there is a face or outline of a figure not there when the pictures were taken. A letter from Clapham told the museum that on the Lincoln's last flight from Watton to Henlow on April 30th, 1963, the aircraft was flown by a pilot, Major Hiller. This was his favourite aircraft and he became well acquainted with the old bird. He promised the writer of the letter that he would haunt his baby. Soon after... He crashed in a dive near Cosford. More recently, a psychic from Bedford claims that the ghost is an AC1 instrument fitter who died at Cosford Hospital. He was a quiet public schoolboy whose parents lived in India. He was working on the Lincoln when he collapsed with a ruptured appendix. appendix. His name was Ronald and he used to sing to a psychic lady on her visits to Cosford. Now, the story I've just told you from RAF Cosford is the first I've ever heard about that particular ghost story. And beyond that, I don't know of any other details or any other details relating to the story. I don't know if this uh, Lincoln bomber is still at uh, RF Cosford or if it's somewhere else in the UK. Um, I don't know if there are any other ghost stories relating to the RAF Museum in Cosford or connected to any other of the aircraft that either are still there or have been there in the past, I don't know. If anyone has any stories or experiences, either from you yourself or from someone you know used to work at RAF Cosford, then by all means, share your stories and your thoughts in the comments section below this video. It would be really interesting to hear what people think about not only the story I've just told you in this video, but anything else you might have heard connected to RAF Cosford. On that note, I'm going to finish this video here. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And I hope that everyone has a really good Halloween this year. It's a fun, fantastic Halloween. I intend to do my best to have a good Halloween today. I don't know how it's going to happen or what's going to happen. I'm, I'm just going to like see how it goes. But yeah, take care everyone. Take care of each other. Happy Halloween. And I'll see you all soon in the next video. Take care and goodbye.